Good morning. It's time for devotionals again, uh, and it's good to be with you in your home. Uh, we're going to look at the Bible reading today from the book of Acts. It's the uh, second chapter, the 32nd verse. This Jesus God raised up again, to which we are all witnesses. Therefore, having been exalted to the right hand of God and having received from the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit, he has poured forth this which you both see and hear. For it was not David who ascended into heaven, but he himself says, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make thine enemies a footstool for thy feet. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were pierced in the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Brethren, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, Repent and let each of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off, as many as the Lord our God shall call to himself. And with many other words, he solemnly testified and kept on exhorting them, saying, Be saved from the perverse generation. So then those who had received his word were baptized, and there were added that day about 3,000 souls. Les Mis begins with a parole convict, Jean Valjean, stealing a priest's silver. He's caught and he expects to be returned to the mines, but the priest shocks everyone when he claims he'd given the silver to Valjean. And after the police leave, he turns to the thief, you belong no longer to evil, but to good. Such extravagant love points to the love that flowed from the fountain from which all grace comes to each one of us. On the day of Pentecost, Peter told his audience that less than two months before, in that very city, they had crucified Jesus Christ. The crowd was crushed and asked what they, what they needed to do. Peter replied, each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins. Well, Jesus had turned and en en endured the punishment that they deserved. Now their penalty would be forgiven if they put their faith in Jesus Christ. The irony of grace. The people could only be forgiven because of Jesus' death a death they were responsible for. How gracious and how powerful is our God. He has used humanity's greatest sin to accomplish our salvation. And if God has already done this with the sin of crucifying Jesus, we may assume there's nothing he can't turn into something good for us. Trust the one who causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God. So the questions for you today are, have you given yourself to Jesus Christ? Do you do that every single day of your life? And if you do, why not give your fears to him as well? As what we are facing is certainly a time of anxiety and fear. Pray with me. Dear God, thank you for your extravagant love toward us and help us to trust in you and your continuing work in our lives. Amen.